There's a lot of ways that you can customize Open Dental to make your office run more efficiently and actually make it a lot easier on both yourself and your staff. What I'm going to talk about in this video is charting. The problem with charting is not only does it take too long, but it also sometimes isn't very legible. It's a kind of an onerous job that people don't like to do, so they procrastinate. And unfortunately, sometimes it doesn't get done very accurately or even not at all. So what I'm going to do is run through a few things in this video that shows you how you can chart with sheets in Open Dental. So what's a sheet? A sheet is the way Open Dental keeps track of documents. So it might be post-op instructions, a patient letter, a thank you for referring letter. As you can see over there on the left-hand side, there's lots of different kinds of sheets. What we're going to talk about are exam sheets. So when I save an exam sheet in Open Dental, this is going to replace my narrative charting, but it's not going to replace the procedures that I did today. I still have those procedures charted, so I know I did an MOD on number 12. I don't have to repeat that in the sheets. All right, so how do we get to the sheets? You go to Setup, then down to Sheets, and then over in this case, we're going to exam sheets. That just narrows down your list that's over on the right-hand side because there's a ton of sheets in there. And in this case, we're going to look at hygiene and treatment sheets. Here's an example of a sheet. It's not terribly user-friendly to change. And so, and the other problem is that you can't copy and paste things between sheets. You can copy and paste them within a sheet, and we're going to do that. So what I've tried to do is make some master sheets that you can then go in, customize, and then make more custom sheets for specific tasks. And I'll show you that in just a minute, where you just basically delete things out that you don't want. That's much easier than adding new things. This is an early sheet that I did for an exam. And this is easy to do, but it's hard to change. That's really an image underneath with all the text. And then all I had to do was put the little X's in there. This is a much faster way to chart exams. And this is the way we first started using Sheets. This is a little bit more sophisticated one we used for Invisalign. And this is much easier to change, but much harder to set up because you have to put all those little text boxes in there one at a time. Here's one that we did for another office. They said we want some photographs in there. And so Open Dental, when you open this sheet, will automatically pull whatever photographs you want into the sheet. So that's really kind of handy. In this case, this is going to be a patient handout. So how do we get to sheets? How are we going to use them? We go into chart. We have to be in chart. And we're going to click on exam sheets. We're going to add a new sheet. And in this case, we'll go up and we'll use the recall sheet here for ducks. The reason it says ducks is the ducks are providers. So now it's very quick to go in and just check off things here. Now, if you don't use nitrous in your office, then take this section out. And I'll show you how to do that. But again, charting is very fast, very easy, and you won't leave anything out. Okay, because it's like a checklist in there. What I do today, uh, these are the things that I did. And I did pocket irrigation. I did do a restin on the mesial of three. That would also be a procedure that got charted. I also have the doctor do an exam. So I'm very quickly going to go in and chart these things. The reason I had patient concerns twice, because a patient may have more than one concern. Now, you can still chart on your notes, your freeform notes before, below, right there. Okay, I'll show you this. There you go. Write anything that you want the same way you always did. So we're not taking anything away. We're just making it faster. So then I sign the notes. I put my name down there, and I'm done. I'm just going to click OK or save either one. And now I have that sheet saved in my exams. I also have it saved down there as part of my progress notes. I can come back. You can see it's grayed out. That's because it's signed, so it's locked. I can unlock it if I have the security permission. So here's another sheet. Uh, you can see it's got some local fields up at the top. 
Uh, so it's got more than just that recall sheet does, but it doesn't have the exam in here. I can do a composite, I can do a crown, I can do a buildup, crown seats, extractions. All these things have little drop downs. But what's really important is my charting for my crown that I need to justify that crown is right in here easy to do. So it's either going to be initial placement or non-initial placement. If it's non-initial placement, how old it is, is it? Or you can click on this guy, where was the carries? So it's very fast, but it's also very complete. So you can copy this sheet and send it to the insurance company as a narrative if you need to. Where can you get these wonderful sheets? If you go to our website, todaysdentalconsulting.com forward slash chart, you can download them right there in the middle of the screen. Just click on that and all the sheets that I showed you will be included in that zip file. So you're just going to unzip them and then modify them for your office. So let's talk about setting the security. We're going to go into setup security. I don't want people deleting my sheets inadvertently here. Now you've got to do this for each group. I'm going to go down to main and I'm going to unclick these boxes down here for delete and for editing. Okay, this is my charting. I don't want people to inadvertently mess this up for me. This is the way I suggest you do it, where you're able to edit the sheet for three days, but you can't delete the sheet. Okay, and I suggest you do this with your regular charting too, if you're doing charting some other way. If you found this video useful, then please subscribe and like, and also click the bell icon so you get notified about future videos. And you might wanna share it with your friends, even if you only share it with your dog. If this has been helpful for you and you'd like some other tips about how to customize Open Dental to make your office more effective, give us a call. That's what we do.